the NCBI is a national sight loss agency providing a range of supports and services to people who are blind and vision impaired. We support 8,000 people per year right across the country. We are happy to take referrals from anyone who is experiencing significant problems with their vision. A person does not have to be registered as blind to benefit from NCBI's services. As an optometrist, you can refer your patients that you think may benefit from our additional services to maximise their independence. We work with people who have acquired their sight loss as a result of medical conditions like glaucoma, those who have congenital eye diseases like retinal pigmentosa, or those who have acquired their sight loss as a result of a traumatic incident like an accident. Losing your sight or your vision is a very traumatic experience and it's different for each individual person. So we want to support people from the point of diagnosis onwards. And we do this by the broad range of supports and services we offer. This ranges from details about eye conditions to the supports and services you can receive from NCBI and other organisations as well as your statutory entitlements. NCBI's community resource workers are there to listen and support people who are blind and vision impaired from the point of diagnosis onwards. Our support is delivered in a confidential and non-judgmental manner, both in person or over the phone. People who are blind and vision impaired face many challenges both at home, at school and in work. NCBI is on hand to provide strategies and techniques to overcome these challenges. We offer a telephone support line, assistive technology updates, training on assistive technology and where to purchase these products. NCBI provides orientation and mobility training via our mobility officers right across Ireland. This training is key in enabling people who are blind and vision impaired to be as independent as they possibly can in all environments. Here at NCBI, we're keen to ensure that as many people who are blind and vision impaired succeed in employment and in education. We do this by helping people access the world of work to retain their job, and support employers to ensure their workplaces are accessible to people who are blind and vision impaired. NCBI Library supports independence through literacy. We do this by providing books in alternative formats which can be accessed online or through our nationwide postal service. I was born with glaucoma, so I was diagnosed at 13 weeks old, but I had an operation to kind of make sure my sight loss wouldn't get worse. When I first came to NCBI, I had an assessment just to see what my vision was like and how they could help. So I had mobility training here in the training center. A good example is using the cane. I have never used a cane before. I've never been told that a cane would help me until I came to NCBI. And to use the counseling service here in NCBI really helped because I was talking to someone that truly understood. For someone to understand, it just feels so much better. When a person is referred to the NCBI, they are brought through two assessments by their community resource worker. The initial assessment is carried out over the phone, where we will ask you questions about your eye condition, your last appointment with the optometrist, and how you are managing with tasks at home or at work. The second assessment is a functional vision assessment. Your community resource worker will make an appointment with you to come into one of the NCBI centres. Here we will do a comprehensive functional vision test. Distance vision will be tested using a type of chart called a logmar chart where you will read down through the letters and your community resource worker will be able to test the strength of your distance vision by judging your head movements and missed letters on the chart. Near vision will be tested using a reading chart. This chart will allow your community resource worker to predict the strength of magnification that might benefit you. Your community resource worker will provide information on benefits and entitlements and can assist you in filling out forms at this stage. Following a discussion with you about contrast sensitivity and glare, your community resource worker may decide to carry out 
a contrast sensitivity test, as well as give you the opportunity to trial anti-glare glasses. You will also have the opportunity to try magnifiers and task lamps, and your community resource worker will give you information on general lighting and the importance of lighting for tasks. Should you require further assessment at this stage, your community resource worker will arrange this. For example, you may require an orientation and mobility assessment. Your community resource worker can also refer you to our other services within NCBI, such as the library, our counselling services, or assistive technology department. I'm usually one of the first people that a patient will come to when they notice there's something wrong with their vision. And my job is to see what I can do. So it may be something very simple. It may be that they need glasses for the first time. It may be that glasses need to be changed. But sometimes having done all of that and their vision isn't back up to normal, then I have to find out what the cause is. So it could be something like there's a problem with the macula and we're talking about maybe macular degeneration. It could be a problem that the pressure has gone up inside their eye and so we're talking about glaucoma. Or it could be the fact that they have a bleed at the back of their eye or a swelling or a leakage of fluid. And so what I need to do is find out the cause and refer them for treatment to the appropriate person. For me, the benefits of referring a patient to NCBI is that they take a holistic approach. My feeling is that NCBI can give them something extra, something that makes their life easier. In the past, I would only refer a patient to NCBI when their vision was in the 660 region. Now I'm referring much earlier. So I could be referring a patient who has 618 vision. And if it happens that down the road that their vision starts to deteriorate, they've built up a relationship with NCBI and they know that they can get help there. I would recommend that optometrists refer the appropriate patients to NCBI, even if they offer a low vision service themselves. NCBI provide a tailor-made plan for each patient so that they can live as independently as possible. The services are local for the patients and they're countrywide. Referrals to NCBI can be made online, over the phone or in person. Optometric assessment reports can be completed and returned to your local NCBI office. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and we look forward to receiving your referrals to ensure that people who are blind and vision impaired can be as independent as possible.